hey, this scene might look familiar to you. This was the HBV scene. This was hepatitis B virus represented by this virus over here on this heap of Bs. Heap of Bs for hepatitis B. We saw this already. And we saw that it has an envelope of around this icosahedron capsid and it's a double-stranded, well, at least partially double-stranded DNA virus. And we saw that it was associated with lots of liver problems represented by these guys over here. And we saw its modes of transmission it was through uh, injection through the blood, through baby, or a mother with her baby over here, as well as through intercourse. Now we're going to discuss the HDV virus, which has the similar, same modes of transmission, but lots of differences, and we'll discuss that here. The reason why we're putting the HDV virus, the hepatitis D virus over here, is because the hepatitis D virus is very associated with HBV virus. First of all, the HDV virus is dependent on HBV virus, HDV from the Delta family, D for Delta, is dependent on the HBV virus. It requires it for replication because it depends on the HBS antigen for entry into hepatocytes. And that's why in this scene, he really wants to get close to him. Here's the HDV virus. Here, he's not on top of a heap of bees. He's on top of a heap of dogs. Heap of dogs for hepatitis D. But anyway, we see that it doesn't have an icosahedron capsid. It has an interesting capsid, more like cylindrical but it does have an envelope around it. And we see that there's a rhino here because it's not DNA, but it's actually RNA with a negative sign for negative sense. He's trying to get through the grass over here because he really wants to. And what we have over here is this super, super rockets that helps remember the super infection. That's a really bad prognosis. That's, that's when HDV follows HBV. You see, when HBV and HDV are, have a co-infection, that's not as bad of a prognosis. But the reason what we have over here with these two rockets, which HDV behind HBV, is because the prognosis is really bad when HDV follows HBV. Okay, so that's basically it for HBV and HDV. I hope you enjoyed. Take care.